So the 10 things that you should stay single unless you meet a guy who does these things. So the first one is that he is true to his word. So the mark of a mature adult is when they promise something and they keep their promises. And obviously mistakes happen, right? People forget things, nobody's perfect. But my suggestion is that if you want a great relationship, you wait for a promise keeper. You wait for somebody who has integrity and is true to his word. So number two is he tells you that he misses you. So he loves being around you and he's not trying to play games with you. When he misses you, he's willing to be vulnerable enough to say that he misses you. So he knows that you're a catch and he's a catch too. And so he's open and he's willing to say that he misses you because he really does. He likes you and he's willing to be vulnerable in that way. Number three is that he communicates his vulnerabilities to you. So he's not perfect. He knows he's not perfect. And he's strong enough in himself that he can open up about his vulnerabilities to you. And, and that doesn't mean that he can't talk about himself in a positive way. He should be, right? If you have high self-esteem, you do talk about yourself in a positive way. But he's also willing to open up and you know, admit when he's wrong or talk about mistakes that he's made or he's willing to open up and, and talk about how he's vulnerable with you. That's, that's another mark of a mature adult is somebody that's willing to do that. Number four is he takes you seriously. So he listens, pays attention, and cares about you and your needs. And so this means that he values you and who you are on the inside, right? He actually cares about who you are and he cares about what's going on with you and he cares about your needs and he actually sits there and pays attention and listens to you and what's going on with you. Number five is he takes responsibility for your needs and happiness even though he doesn't need to. So you're happy and fine by yourself, hopefully. Hopefully that's the case, right? But he learns about who you are and what you need, and he makes sure that you're getting taken care of and that you're happy. And you're, you, this isn't a codependency thing, right? You're not dependent on him for your own happiness, but he, he enhances and he enriches your life. So number six is he wants you to be safe, happy, and protected. So he's the type of man who, even if you two broke up, he'd still care about you and treat you well and be a friend to you. And that's because he's not just your lover, he's also a friend and a partner in your life. And, and that's kind of the foundation that really creates a, a really empower, uh, empowering, powerful relationship that you can be in is not just being lovers, but also being friends and and actually caring about each other and each other's needs and, and what's going on with each other. And, and uh, you know, as a man, men, one of our primal needs is to, is to provide and protect, right? And to make sure that things are going well, everything's taken care of, everything's good to go. And so you want that to be a part of who he is and, and what he brings out in himself when he's around you. So number seven is that he is proud of you. So he sees the beautiful and amazing person that you are right now. So he's proud of your qualities. He's proud of your work. He's proud of your mind. So he's not waiting or pushing you to be something that he wants you to be. He sees and appreciates who you are today. And so you want somebody who's proud of who you are today and he's proud of being around you and he's proud of having you in his life and he's proud of you. So number eight is he brings out the best in you. So he makes you feel good about yourself and he inspires you to bring out the best qualities that you have and you feel like you're, you're a better person when you're around him and you're a better person for having him in your life and you're a better person when you're in a relationship together. And so a lot of people, uh, and one of the 
kind of red flags that you want to watch out for is a lot of times people get into relationships where you pull out kind of the worst parts of each other and you always feel like you're the worst part of yourself is being pulled out when you're together and that's the opposite of what you want. Number nine is he gets along with your friends and family. So I've talked about this before in the past and there are exceptions to this rule like if you hate your family, right? So there are some people in the world who hate their families or they have really weird families or they have really uh, disconnected families or they haven't done healing around their family or maybe their family, there's people in their family who are just people that are just people that you would never want to associate with. And so sometimes there are exceptions to this rule for sure. But generally speaking, you know, if, if it's not, if your family isn't that dysfunctional, right? I know a lot of us have dysfunctional families, me included. Uh, but if, if your family's not so dysfunctional that you've completely disowned them and don't want anything to do with them anymore, uh, then it's one of those things where, you know, let's just throw friends and family together here and say that uh, if you want a great foundation and start to a relationship, it's good to have a man who gets along with your friends and your family. He doesn't have to be best buds with them, but he does get along with them. Number 10, he's bold and unapologetic about wanting a commitment with you because he sees a future together. So if a man's afraid of a commitment or he's scared about talking about it or he says he's not ready for one, that's a massive red flag. There was a huge, there was a question about this in our community, I think today or yesterday or something where this woman was asking about this guy who said that he's not ready for a relationship, but he doesn't want to let her go. And it's just so bad to him to let him go. And, and it's like, well, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, he's trying to get all of his needs met without meeting your needs. And if a guy is really serious about you, he will see you in his future and he will think about you in his future. And you want a man who, when he thinks about you and he thinks about being with you, he's a giant yes, right? He's like a hell yeah, you know? That's what you want. You don't want a maybe or a she'll do. You want an enthusiastic yes, I want this person in my life, right? And, and that's that's the kind of attitude that you want him to have with you. And if he doesn't have that attitude with you, then that's a, that's a major problem. And so he isn't afraid of a future together because he sees you in it. He includes you in his life because you're important to him. So important that he doesn't want to let you go. And that's what you deserve. And you shouldn't accept anything less. Now, if you're thinking he's not really, really any of these things, he doesn't have any of this stuff going on, then my suggestion is that you can do better. And if you want a man, uh, you want a man who meets your standards and your standards should be high. So you're not just going for any guy, you're not you know, acting desperate, all that kind of stuff. Because when, when you're coming from a space of desperation and just taking anything and just, you know, you, you want to be in a relationship so bad or you want a guy so badly that you're willing to get into a relationship that isn't really right for you just so that you can have the guy, you end up getting into a bad situation and you'll end up regretting it down the road once some of those crazy emotions that you have kind of settle down. And so you want to make sure you're getting into a great situation. And the way that you do that is by making sure that you value yourself and that you look at yourself as a, a woman who deserves the type of relationship that you really want to have. Just going to go back over the 10 again real quick so everybody can hear them. First one is he's true to his word. Second one is he tells you that he misses you. Third one is he communicates his vulnerabilities to you. Fourth one is he takes you seriously. Fifth one is he takes responsibility for your needs and happiness, even though he doesn't need to. Sixth one is he wants you to be safe, happy, and protected. Seventh is he's proud of you. Eighth is he brings out the best in you. Ninth is he gets along with your friends and family. And tenth is he's bold and unapologetic 
about wanting a commitment with you because he sees a future together.